Okay, the key when you want to integrate with respect to y is to make sure that both of these functions are evaluating x in terms of y. So for this first line, y equals 9 fourths x, we have to solve for x in terms of y, which would be x equals 4 ninths y. And then you can use the substitution method to find the y coordinates where the two graphs meet. That's kind of what I showed here. I did it by completing the square rather than using the quadratic formula. This is going to turn ugly. So hopefully you're allowed to use decimal approximations instead of uh, using these values when you do the integration. But the idea is that the area between these two curves is this portion right here. And we're going to have a typical rectangle going from this y-coordinate up to this y-coordinate. And the length of that typical rectangle is the x-coordinate at the right minus the x-coordinate at the left. That's the g of y that goes right here. Um, if we go to the next board, there's y sub 1, which I put as this point up here. And this is the y sub 2, decimal approximation. There's the integral. There's the antiderivative. And if I evaluate the antiderivative, g of y sub 1 minus g of y sub 2, I get the same thing. Uh, let's share the screen and go to Desmos. Just so you can see what's happening here. If I move this point up and down, those are your typical rectangles. That's why we're integrating from that y value up to this y value. And for every y between those two y values, the x-coordinate at the right is 4 minus y squared. The x-coordinate at the left is 4 ninths y. We can get the length of that segment by x-coordinate at the right minus x-coordinate at the left. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment. If you have to evaluate this thing using these values, good luck. Have a good afternoon. Um, I will send a link to the Desmos graph so you can take a look there, too.